everybody, today I want to talk about this beautiful blue Buddha that you must have seen before, the Medicine Buddha, who stands for the healing qualities of all the Buddhas. And if we're talking about healing, it's something that the world really needs right now. So please enjoy this mini talk. The Medicine Buddha, Buddha of Healing. Here we see Buddha Shakyamuni. Shakyamuni is the historical Buddha of our time, the one we most often refer to as simply the Buddha. He is the embodiment of all enlightened beings. And according to the scriptures, the Buddha transformed himself into a deep blue Buddha, spreading rays of healing light, and he gave the teachings on the science of medicine to a great assembly of gods, bodhisattvas and arhats that were present. And when he gave the teachings on, on healing, the old text speak of how the entire assembly that was present at the time perceived the world as a pure universe during the teaching, as if the universe itself was actually made of a healing medicine. The Buddhists value medicine both as a way to alleviate suffering and to prolong the human life. Because when you're able to prolong your life, you can improve the opportunity to attain enlightenment. So now you know that the Medicine Buddha is a transformation of Buddha Shakyamuni. And in this beautiful 18th century Tanka, the Blue Medicine Buddha is depicted with a golden face and golden palms on his hands and golden soles on his feet. Buddha Shakyamuni is sometimes called the Great Healer because he taught us the Dharma, the teachings of the Buddha, which is the great antidote to the problems that we experience in our life and which are caused by our disturbing emotions that make us ill. And in this way, we can see the Buddha as the doctor, the Dharma as the medicine, and the Sangha, which is the group of monks and nuns that help spread the Buddhist philosophy, they can be seen as the nurses. After the Buddha reached the highest state of consciousness, called enlightenment, he gave his very first discourse, called the Four Noble Truths, in a deer park in Sarnath, India. And since then, these teachings form the basis of the Buddhist practice. The Four Noble Truths recognize that there is suffering, that there is a cause of suffering, that there is an end to suffering, and then there is also a path out of the suffering, called the Noble Eightfold Path. We can talk about the Eightfold Path in another Tanka talk. And it is said that these four noble truths might be based on the old Indian medical formula of diagnosis, cause, prognosis and treatment. So also in the four noble truths, the basis of Buddhism, the healing aspect is present, as you can see. The Medicine Buddha is the embodiment of all the Buddha's healing qualities associated with healing both physical and mental suffering. By making a connection with him, by practicing his meditation, reciting his mantra, or even just saying his name, helps us to achieve our potential for ultimate healing. And also when we draw or paint him, as we do in my Tanka courses, we make such a beautiful connection with him. The Tibetan name of Medicine Buddha is Sangye Menla. His Sanskrit name is a little more difficult, Baisaja Guru Vaidurya Prabha Tathagata. And the literal translation of this is the great king with the radiance of Lapis Lazuli. Though the Medicine Buddha is sometimes depicted in gold, as you see here on this old Tanka, his characteristic color is blue, the color derived from Lapis Lazuli. The Buddhists believe that the Buddha's healing powers were derived from this rare and semi-precious gemstone, which has been praised for thousands of years for its intense blue color. It is mainly mined in the remote Badakhshan region in Afghanistan, which is an almost inaccessible area in Central Asia. And traditionally, this beautiful stone was used to symbolize that which is pure or rare. 
The stone is said to have a healing or strengthening effect upon the person who wears it. Deep blue light also has a demonstrable healing powers when it is visualized in meditation practices, as we also do at our courses. So the Medicine Buddha reminds us of how precious our health is, both body and mind, and that we have to try to take good care of it in all circumstances and to the best of our abilities. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to learn how to draw or paint the Medicine Buddha, please have a look at my website tibetanbuddhistart.com to see the upcoming schedule of group courses anywhere in the world, but also I'm currently working on an online course about the Medicine Buddha and also about the Buddha face and many more to come. I don't know exactly yet when it will be out, but if you sign up for the newsletter, you will stay posted. Okay, have a good day. Bye bye.